right, here we are in a beautiful Idaho morning. It's a little bit breezy. The wind's coming out of the north. Looking at a really nice 73 Dodge Challenger. Cruising for a bruising. It's called Dreamsicle. Um, underneath the hood, we'll give you a little bit more detail, but it is a big block 440 with a few body mods and a great look. Uh, it's, a, it's got an orange pearl to it. It's very, very nice. You can catch the pearl there. Slight modifications. The marker lights have been shaved on the sides. The door handles are shaved with power remotes. It's a good looking show and shine driver. Fun car to drive. Wait till you hear it run. Just really, really great sound. You only get that sound out of a motor car. Very tedious owner. A very nice clean car. few minor spots from uh, use and enjoyment and that's what you want to do with it anyway we'll point out what we see but we never cover everything because it's impossible you can see and I'm being picky because there ain't many spots a little tiny spot right there on the inside of that thing could be an easy touch up beautiful it's just nice and wide and mean looking Owner's proud of it, and he should be. Be a nice little car for somebody to own. If you're looking for a little muscle car with a 70s feel, if you're like you were back in high school, maybe this one would do the trick. Body's very straight, professionally refinished. kind of see the pearl there in the hood it does have disc brakes in the front we'll go around that on the undercarriage video nice sport mirrors try and step back and give you a little look here I know it's hard, we're going into the sun a little bit. Does have power remotes for the doors, I'm just reaching in. Very nice ultra leather interior. Complements the color very nicely. Car's been in several magazines, got a nice little award, show and shine drive. Ultra leather upholstery is very soft, nicely taken care of. Door jam to door jam. The trunk's upholstery is equally as nice as the interior of the car. We'll have video of that for you. you shut that for me, Mac? I didn't want to. There you go. Kind of the dark side of this car uh, that's not in the sun, so it kind of gives you an idea how straight it is. See the picket fence? Dreamsicle. Step back, take a little look here. We had a little break in the video because I uh, ran out of juice in my batteries. It's got a nice stance, don't it? She's been done a few years, but very few miles. Dulled owned and respected. There's a little tiny spot right there. Not even really worth talking about. We try and point out little things that we see. You know what you're getting?
getting. This one you're getting a nice little car. Nice spot right there. Hey Mac, you got that remote in your pocket? Open that door for me. There you go. See how that works? Got a little remote in his hand. Thank you. Gentlemen and lady owned, respected. Going to give you a nice little look back here. We're going to turn it around in a minute and kind of give you a feel of the other side of the car with the steel photo shoots, but we have covered the sides we're going to cover in the video. Look at that, even the dome light works. So it's got later model seats in it. Mopar, apparently. I'll take a seat down in here. Do you have the key in your hand, Mac? I'm gonna fire this baby up for them so they can hear it. Give you a feel of the dash and the inside here. Get a key here and we'll stuff it in the ignition. Chrysler steering column. Looks like all the gauges are working for us here. hear that Mopar rumble. It's still cold. You can see it's sitting on the cold side of uh, temp. We'll get out and let you hear that Mopar rumble. you get the idea hang on to more of the video here we're going to take you to the engine compartment and then some undercarriage thanks for visiting make right, sure you go let's to take a look underneath the hood here very nice little Mopar you gotta like Mopars they just got the look and the feel and the sound anyway with 440 balanced and blueprinted uh, polished aluminum Mopar intake on it Edelbrock carburetor those are TTI, he TTI headers and exhaust a lot of chrome goodies and billet. Uh, you got a chrome power steering pump there. Billet brackets. Uh, looks like a high, high amp uh, Chrysler alternator. It's got a 727 torque flight. Automatic transmission with a shift kit in it. It's got stock HEI ignition or Mopar uh, ignition. Billet pulleys are nice. Be, be cool aluminum radiator in it. These little trim pieces are kind of neat. 73440. And underneath the hood, it's got a uh, polished panel. See the motor there underneath? That, hood, that uh, air filter does go right up into there, so it does get some fresh air. We're thinking you get the idea. Hang on to the end of the video here. You'll get undercarriage and a lot more. Go to spudsgarage.com for still photos and Spuds Garage eBay. And you're currently on Spuds Garage YouTube. Take a look at the trunk here. Pardon me, a little bit of wind today. 
Underneath the uh, right side panel here is a, is a tool kit. There's a, some storage area in there. That panel comes out. Left side here, there is a uh, battery. And then this forward panel comes out. And all the electronics are in there for the door remotes and the in power antenna and the radio and that kind of stuff. Notice the Pentastar on the uh, deck lid, the same upholstery that's in the interior, the ultra leather. Alright, we'll give you a little undercarriage here. Don't mind the wind a little bit. Disc brakes. See here, front tires are 245-45ZR17s on the front. They're Falcon, the ZE502s. TTI headers and exhaust. TTI, I believe, is out of California. A little windy today. Let's see, the back tires are a 27540 R17. Obviously, American Racing wheels are also Falcon tires, ZE502s. Speed rated. Very nice little Mopar. If you're looking for a fun car that you can drive, we're getting towards the end of the video now. You like the sound and feel of a Mopar. Which are truly one of a kind. You don't take a this Mopar. Idaho here. Can you get it? SpudsGarage.com, SpudsGarage YouTube, SpudsGarage eBay. Go to SpudsGarage, look at more.